Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Jeff. Today I'm going to make a video to talk about natural disasters in Hawaii. The question has come up and also in line with what's happened with Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane um, Irma in Florida and Texas, Hurricane Jose. So we'll go ahead and talk about what you can, um, what you should know about Hawaii and flash floods, hurricanes, tsunamis, earthquakes, and lava, volcano. So we'll kick it off with the hurricane since that's most relevant. So two hurricanes, Iwa and Aniki left dev devastation in um, Hawaii. Okay, so Hurricane Iwa hit the island islands of Nihau, Kauai, and Oahu on November 3rd, 23rd, 1982. It was a category one hurricane on the south, on the, the hurricane scale. Iwa was the first major hurricane to hit Hawaii since statehood occurred in 1959. So before 1959, you know, I don't, I don't have a record of what kind of hurricanes happened before 1959. Then Hurricane Aniki was the most powerful hurricane to strike Hawaii that was ever recorded in Hawaiian history. The eye of the hurricane passed right over the island of Kauai on September 11th, 1992 as a category four hurricane, causing six deaths and, and around $1.8 billion in damage. Um, not only are the high winds of a hurricane cyclone very destructive, um, but, if a, but they came with a storm surge which caused severe flooding. Okay, so hurricanes, they can come from either direction here in Hawaii. They, uh, the year of El Nino, I wanna say it was 2015. Yeah, around about 2015 into 2016, we had warmer than usual ocean water and I believe there was four or five, there was about Four hurricanes in the Pacific Ocean, all back to back to back, barreling in, coming into um, Hawaii. But because of the mountains, uh, Mauna Kea, Mauna Loa being such powerful mountain, um, by the time they were the, the, by the time they were reaching land, they were being se severely deflected by Mauna Kea and Mauna Loa. So, Kona side wasn't really feeling it. I think that the big risk for hurricanes comes from the comes from the west to east. A lot, a lot it's not as devastating if it's coming from uh, Mexico working its way. Um, so if it's coming from west to east, I'm sorry. <laughs> wow, I, I I messed that up. So if it's coming from the west, or if it's coming from the east, that's Mexico. <laughs> Man, you know, Mexico, California. It basically comes from Mexico, and it hits the Big Island first. Those are those are usually not going to be as powerful. They'll hit. They'll have storm surges in Hilo, but if it's coming from the other direction, it'll hit. It can sneak up on places like Kona and Maui in a, in a more destructive way, from from the way that I understand it. So. There's a lot more frequency coming from the east, coming from Mexico over in that area, working its way west, than the ones that come from the east or come from the other direction, working its way towards Hawaii. Okay, so <laughs> the directions are all jacked up. I apologize if I got that, uh, got you guys all mumbled, mumbled there. Anyways, um, moving past hurricanes. Tsunamis. There was two that occurred. There was one in 1946 that was reported as a magnitude 7.8 uh, on the Richter scale in the Aleutian Islands off Alaska. Almost five hours later at 7 a.m., the largest and most destructive tsunami waves in reported history struck Hawaii, killing 159 people. Many were curious people, including school children who ventured to, to the exposed reef area, not knowing the receding water to be a sign of an approaching tsunami. Property damage was 26 million. That was in 1946, so that's a lot of money, even then. Um, so, there was another one that occurred that came from 
So that one came from the Aleutian Islands. The other one came from the from Chile. So a very powerful tsunami also took out Hilo a second time in the 60s. Okay, so tsunamis, they can come from either way. Kona was flooded in 2011 by the Japanese earthquake in um, Fukushima. So, you know, that took a lot longer because of the amount of ocean that they had to cross. Now, so tsunamis, that's the deadliest one that is in Hawaii. There's volcanoes, only on the big island though. So if you're around the Hilo side of the island, Kona side also with Hualalai and Mauna Loa. So there's three active or three potentially active volcanoes, Hualalai, Kilauea, and Mauna Loa on the big island. There's a total of five, but two are dormant or extinct. I don't, I don't know exactly. Scientists say that Mauna Kea and Kohala are um, dormant or extinct. So the only three that you got to worry about, there's actually one even off the coast that's underwater that's creating more land. So more Hawaii, <laughs> but that's, you know, it takes years. Anyway, so the volcano can be an issue, especially if you're in its path. It's, it's ruptured in Kapoho, it's ruptured in Pu'u'o'o, it's ruptured inside the park in Kilauea Iki. There's an active lava lake at Hali Mau Mau. So, you know, you get, <laughs> the lava can just fountain, fissure, it just starts leaking out of the ground or it can start fountaining out of the ground. I mean, even in Mauna Loa. Mauna Loa, when Mauna Loa goes, whoa. I mean, they say that when Mauna Loa goes, there's gonna be earthquakes, or there's usually earthquakes. So that leads me to the next um, point of emphasis, earthquakes. Hawaii, uh, earthquakes in Hawaii are closely linked to the island's volcanoes, even though hardly noticeable thousands of earthquakes happen every year beneath the big island of Hawaii in particular. The big island is the youngest of Hawaiian islands, is still growing. Um, so even though earthquakes happen often in Hawaii, the majority of them are too small to be felt. The last one that happened on the Big Island that could even be felt on the island of Oahu, 170 miles away, occurred on October 15, 2006. It had a magnitude of 6.7. The earthquake caused property damage, injuries, landslides, widespread power outages. There is a documentary on the History Channel that suggests that if one day a chunk of the Big Island could slide into the ocean, and because it's so deep, so it's a portion of, so this was a hypothetical by the History Channel. They said if a landslide occurred on Mauna Loa, it would slide into the ocean, generating a giant wave that would just wipe out Oahu, Waikiki, and um, you know Honolulu, and just spread across the ocean with this major wave frequency basically clearing everything in its path, including Honolulu, which would be the first to get struck. And I think they said that that wave would probably hit um, within 30 minutes. So the notice would be very, it would, the notice would happen. <laughs> You'd only have 30 minutes, basically. If you want to look it up, you can look it up on the, uh, on YouTube, I've seen it. So yeah, I mean, these are just things that you should know about. I'm not saying they happen all the time, uh, like I said, I mean, we had those that one 2015 where a bunch of hurricanes were barreling in and, you know, they all, by the time they got to the Big Island, they were tropical storms and then they just were being pushed away by Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea. Um, even Haleakala plays a role in that on Maui. So the the last thing, the, the, the thing that does happen probably the most frequent, I guess the other thing would be lava, lava but on all the islands, um, flash floods here on Maui the Iao Valley was taken out by flash floods I've seen flash floods in Hilo I've seen flash floods in Kona I've seen flash floods in Kihei I've seen flash floods on Kauai in particular Hanalei, Nepali I've seen flash floods in Oahu so yeah flash floods these do happen I mean there's signs on the road to Hana, where you have to be very cautious on rainy days of flash floods, especially on that road. 
So, you know, in March 2006, a six week rain period caused flooding in many places in Hawaii. On Kauai, it caused a dam to break, killing seven people. On Oahu, the rain caused Waikiki's system, sewer system to overflow with sewage and spill the polluted uh, parts of the islands south, south, oh my gosh, south shore for several days. <laughs> Tongue de twister. So it, it, it looked like 2006 was a busy year for Hawaii as far as natural disasters between, um, you know, earthquakes and a little bit of lava and stuff like that and flash floods. So it says, in, two, in March 2006, more than 30 days of torrential rain resulted in major damage from flooding. So March is a, ra a rainy month, typically, if you're, for those of you who are curious. Other things to keep in mind about natural phenomena, natural disasters, um, they don't necessarily mention this, but big waves. I've seen, I've seen tidal surges that are not related to tsunamis or storm surges from storms. These are just basically big waves coming in. And those can be very powerful. If you're standing on a beach on a day when there's these big waves crashing and you just, you, you could get a rogue wave and this is how people get washed out to sea. So on big wave day, stand away in the distance. When there's tsunamis, stand away in the distance. When a lava lake is fissuring or fountaining, stand away at a, dis a distance. When there's a hurricane, do your best to, to get to high ground. Um, you know, take the necessary steps. Don't play with nature, especially here in Hawaii, uh, unless you want to be a storm chaser and put yourself at risk, which some of you might want to do, I guess. But even in 2014, there was this tropical storm. I didn't mention this, but there was a tropical storm. It knocked over a bunch of trees, Ohio trees, or um, there was trees that got knocked over on the big island and they were right in the middle of the road. So I mean, these those giant trees, uh, Albizia trees, I think they're called, those, they're from Africa. They don't, they take shallow roots, so they can't, they can't penetrate the lava rock so they grow really tall, but they don't set a big deep root system. So when it gets wind, really abnormally windy, like a tropical storm, it'll knock them right over. And they have those in the Pune area in Hilo. And when that happened, I mean, there was a couple, there was a couple, that, that took a couple weeks to clean up, a couple months actually, to clean all those trees off the roads. You wouldn't want to be driving when an Albizia tree comes down, you know? So anyways, that's uh, things you should know about natural disasters. It's happening here as we're watching Hurricane Irma and uh, Hurricane Jose in the Caribbean. So if you like videos like this, subscribe to this channel and um, see you guys later.